Trial Balance Problem 1. The following are all of the current month's balances for Coconut Company before preparing the trial balance. All balances are normal positive balances. The accounts are in random order. So we have the following accounts and the amounts. Accounts payable $10,000, revenue $5,000, cash $6,000, expenses $16,500, furniture $13,000, accounts receivable $14,000, notes payable $4,500, owner capital is unknown. What is the owner capital account amount? This question is really a trial balance question. You're given a bunch of accounts, and before doing the trial balance, as the question states, you're given a bunch of accounts in random order, and you need to determine one specific account's balance. One specific account's balance. So all you have to do is go through and create and put together a trial balance, and you can solve for owner's capital. The trial balance, we put items in order first of the balance sheet, assets, liabilities, owner's equity, stockholder's equity. Then we do revenues and expenses from the income statement. So we put it in that order. Of course, there's contra accounts that go in and whatnot, but that's the idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these accounts and we're going to classify what they are. Is it an asset? Is it a liability? Is it a revenue expense? Is it equity? Whatever it is. One acronym that can help you here is DLOR. DLOR, D-E-A-L-O-R. We normally use DLOR to tell us which side these types of accounts increase on, but it also gives you the general types of accounts. Remember, D is for the drawing or withdrawals, E is for expenses, A is for asset. We put a line in the middle. Those accounts increase on the left side, debit side. And then you've got liabilities, owner's equity or capital, and revenue, which all increase on the right side or credit side. We can also use those to tell the different types or the main types of accounts. You can... Sometimes your professor or you might be learning in a class or on exam, the owner's equity or equity accounts are the owner's equity plus the drawing because drawing is technically a contra of that. So there might be five, six. I think of it as six. Accounts payable is a liability. All payables are liabilities. Revenue is, of course, a revenue account. And revenue can include sales revenue, can include interest revenue, different types of revenue. Cash is going to be an asset. And asset, remember assets are future benefits, current or future uh, resources or benefits. Expenses, you can have different types of expenses, income tax expense. You can even have cost of goods sold. Almost all expense accounts have the word expense in them. A few of them do not. A good example is cost of goods sold. So expenses, of, of course, are expense accounts or they are expense types. Furniture is an asset, right? Current or future resource or benefit. Accounts receivable. All receivables are assets. Notes payable is a liability. All payables are liabilities. And then owner's capital is the owner's equity account. Here we have a sole proprietorship or partnership, so owner's equity. Now, to prepare a trial balance, again, the order that we do a trial balance, we're going to do assets, then liabilities, then owner's equity, including the drawing account, then revenue, then expenses in that order. Let's create some space. I'm going to set aside some, some room here for our actual trial balance. And I actually want to put some, some columns and some information. Now, trial balance, the purpose of the trial balance is to show that the debits and the credits, they equal, they balance. That's why it's called a trial balance. We're going to have accounts. And we also need our debits and credits. Now, remember, debit just simply means left. Credit means right. All the numbers that were given were told are positive, normal positive balances. Remember, DLOR though. DLOR, the D, E, and A, the, the drawing, expenses, and asset account increase on the debit or left side. The liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue account increase on the right side. If we're told they're all positive normal balances, that which means they're positive, they're going to go on the side that they increase on for, for terms of, in terms of these numbers. Let's go ahead and start with assets. We have three assets. We have cash, furniture, and accounts receivable. Now, on the balance sheet, which also in the trial balance, we put the assets in the order of liquidity. Cash is the most liquid, then marketable securities, then we go to accounts receivable, then we go to inventory, then we go to property plan equipment, and then we go to intangible assets. We have cash, accounts receivable, and furniture. That's the order we're going to put them in because that's, that's the order of liquidity. So first, we have cash. And remember, cash is an asset, so it's going to increase on the debit side. So we put $6,000 $6, cash. We can cross that out. Next, 
Next on the on our little list of accounts is furniture, but that's not the next in terms of liquidity. Accounts receivable is next because it's the next most liquid. It's a future right to cash. So accounts receivable is next. And again, accounts receivable is an asset. And DLOR, it increases on the left side, the debit side. That's $14,000. So we can go ahead and cross that one out. Furniture is the next asset, which is $13,000. Let's go ahead and put that one on there. Furniture. Consider property, plant, and equipment. So lower in terms of order of liquidity. Only thing lower than that would be intangible assets. We noted that. And even within property, plant, and equipment, there might be orders of liquidity that might be that might be noted. We finished our assets. Now we're moving on to liabilities. We have two liabilities here. Accounts payable, notes payable. Just like assets where we have a specific order, for liabilities, we're going to list them in the order that they're, they become due, current versus long-term. Now, accounts payable, virtually every business accepts this, general accepted accounting principles. Accounts payable are due within one accounting period, so one year or less. They're considered current, or current one year or less time. So they are considered current. Notes payable can either be current, which again, it means due within one year or less, or long-term, depends. That means we're going to put accounts payable first. Now, accounts payable is a liability and looking at DLOR, the L in DLOR is liabilities, which is on the right side when you're looking at the middle. So we're going to put $10,000 on the credit side. The credit side. We can go ahead and cross that off. And then notes payable is next. Notes payable $4,500 is also a liability and liabilities increase on the credit side. So we're going to do that on the right, put it on that trial balance. We finished our liabilities. Now we move on to owner's equity of one account. Note that we don't have any dividends or any withdrawals since it's a sole proprietorship. Dividends if it was a corporation, we don't have to put that on there. But at this point, we would after our, with respect to our owner's equity, even though it's a contrast, that D and D allure. So we have owner's capital. Owner capital. Now we don't know what it is, but we do know it's going to be a normal balance. Well, we're not sure. It could be negative. It could be a debit. It could be a credit. I guess we'll put a question mark on both sides. We're told the problem that's normal positive balances, but again, we don't know. So I'll just put question marks on both sides because it could be a debit. It could be a credit depending on what the plug is. We're going to plug and figure out owner's capital at the end. This question is asking about owner capital, but we're, we're doing a trial balance because it can help you calculate amount because of the equality of debits and credits given to us. So we, we went ahead and we put that in there. I'll go ahead and cross it off. All right, now we move on to revenues. Did owner's equity, revenue. We've only have one revenue account, and that is revenue. Revenue of $5,000. So we'll go ahead and put revenue down. Now think of DLOR. That's the R in DLOR. We have a credit, normal balance, of $5,000. $5,000. And finally, our last thing is expenses, which is the last one there. We put expenses down. Expenses, that's the E in DLOR, and those increase on the debit side, the left side, and that's $16,500. All right, we put all of our accounts in there. We've gone through assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, expense. We now need to sum up the debits and the credits, put our totals. So the total debits equal $49,500, and the total credits equal $19,500. $500. Look, they don't balance. Well, yeah, that's because we have to determine what is the balance of owner's capital, which is exactly what the question is asking us to do. And the way we get the owner's capital account is, well, just look at this. Just take a second. Stop the video if you need to. But look, debits are greater than credits. So that means that owner's capital has to be on the right side. So that means we can go ahead and erase the question mark on the left side, left side of this. It has to be on the right side. The way we're going to calculate this is we're going to take the total debit amount, which is $49,500, and we're going to subtract $19,500. And that will give us the owner's equity account, the owner's equity, owner capital, which here equals $30,000. And it's specifically going to be a $30,000 credit balance. So now what we can do is I can go back. We've just figured this out using our trial balance, which is the purpose. And we can erase that question mark 
and I can put $30,000 of owner's capital. And now, if we calculate this on the right side, it will equal 49500 Look at that. The debit side, the left, equals the right side. And that is what the trial balance, the purpose it serves.